Now on this problem, I'm going to let x be chicken sandwiches. I'm going to let y be tuna sandwiches. Yuck, who would want a tuna sandwich? But that's my personal preference. We're going to write in, uh, we're going to write in inequality here. It's, we're going to spend $3 on chicken sandwiches. So we're going to say 3x. We're going to spend $1.50 on tuna fat sandwiches. Why? We're going to spend up to $30. You can't spend more than $30, so less than or equal to 30. So I think to graph this one, let's use the intercepts again. So to find the x-intercept, we're going to make y zero. So 3x plus 1.5 times zero is less than or equal to 30. I'm going to do equals to 30 because I'm just finding the intercepts. So 3x equals 30. x would be 10 then. Divide both sides by 3. So on my x-axis, that's going to be chicken sandwiches. We're going to go over to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we're going to turn around and we'll do the same thing for the y-intercept. Let me change colors here for you. So remember the y-intercept, x is 0. So 3 times 0 plus 1.5y equals 30. Well, that's 1.5 times y equals 30. Divide both sides by 1.5. y equals, that would be 300 divided by 15, so we're going to get 20. So on my y-axis, for tuna sandwiches, I need to change my scale because it won't fit on there. Let's count by twos. So now we know my y-intercept is 20. Need to make this thicker, I think. Yep. And it's a solid line because it's less than or equal to. Let's check our test point. And 0, 0 is not on the grid. So we're going to say 3 times 0 plus 1.5 times 0 is less than or equal to 30. Well, that's 0, which is less than or equal to 30. That's true. So we're going to shade the side of the graph that has 0, 0, kind of like we did before. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to look at, uh, look at your multiple choice questions and see which ones are true. Is 11 chicken sandwiches and one tuna sandwich in your grid? No, because you can't have any more than 10 chicken sandwiches. So B is also incorrect because you have 12. Now C, you've got three chicken sandwiches 
and 15 tuna sandwiches. 3 and 15 is on the outside of your line, isn't it? So that is not true. So finally, let's try D. 5 chicken sandwiches and 9 tuna sandwiches. That is indeed in your grid. That's in your colored region. So the correct choice you should have gotten is D.